Can we watch something else? Like what, Ben? Like cartoons. No, I don't like cartoons. Then can I go outside and play? Oh, wait a minute. Your mom will be home pretty soon. So if you still want to go out then, why don't you ask her? Maybe she'll let you go. In the meantime, why don't you just try and be a little more patient? No, wait a minute. I'll get it. It's my room. Yes, but I'm in charge right now. Come on. Well, this is a switch. The spider and the flies parlor. I was just about to leave. I didn't realize that you and Gina were so neighborly, Kurt. Gina isn't here at the moment, Mason. You can come in if you like, or come back, which I'd like. I think I'll come in. <clears throat> nice place. Well, hi, Brandon. Hi, Mason. Uh, just the two of you here? Yeah, Mommy's out. Oh, and you were just getting ready to leave? I was going to wait until Gina got back. Ah, I see. He's got your babysitting, huh? A little moonlighting to augment your meager salary at Capital Enterprises? Knock it off, Mason. Oh, Uncle Kirk is not only pleasant, but he's witty, too. How you doing, partner? Wish we could go home. Yeah, I wish we could, too. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to soon, huh? Hey, look, there's Daddy. Why, so it is. Basking in the limelight. My new son-in-law, Kirk. Kirk, please, wow. join us. Ladies Look at that. Like There's Uncle Christ Kirk, Christ. Kirk, too. And I would like publicly to thank him. Reflected glory, huh, Kirk? Marvelous contribution. As you can see, Mason, he asked me to join him. It wasn't prearranged. I am very proud unusual. of my family. Spontaneous hey, gratitude from my father. This is a rare occasion indeed. Mr. Cruz Castillo. Yeah, what happened there? She just had a change of mind. Well, look at that. Hey, he's very complimentary, isn't he? How does she feel Cece about Cece knows what goes over with the press. The <laughs> and Young lady, she's arm around your shoulder and everything. That's right a touching sight. Just as Kirk is Should I say person. spectacle? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to... Mason, could I talk to you for a moment, please? Sure. So... What's going on, Mason? Just happened to be in the neighborhood? Nobody just happens to be in a neighborhood like this, Kirk. No, I came because Gina asked me to. She left a message. Oh, yes. Gina's very big on leading messages. Well, I have no idea when she's going to be back. Mm -hmm. Can I watch cartoons now? All right. So, you and Dad are going to be an invincible team and all, working side by side and all of that. That's right. And we are. Well, just be careful, Kirk. Dad's kindness is a lot like quicksand. You can struggle against it or you can give in to it. Either way, you'll wind up going under. You'd do a lot better with him and everybody else if you tried being just a little less abrasive. Are we giving lessons in comportment now, are we? Well, put a beggar on horseback. I'll tell you what, why don't you stick around and keep Brandon company? I've got some things to take care of right now. Well, I'm sure you must. I would imagine that worming your way into people's good graces keeps you on the run most of the time. Or at least on the crawl. That's it, Mason. I think I've said everything I want to say to you. Oh. Well, saved by the bell. Afternoon, Miss Capwell. You have two gentlemen callers today. Hello, Mason. Hi, Mommy. Hi, darling. Oh, uh, listen, Kirk, uh, could you take Brandon down to the machines and buy him a soft drink or something? I need to talk to Mason. Oh, no, wait a minute, Jen. I've been tied up here all day long. I've got some things to take care of. Kirk, I'm sorry. I realize it's an imposition, but I'd be so grateful. All right. Come on, Brandon. Let's go get a drink. Do I have to? You no, know, Kirk, I don't think the kids like you very much, but they bark at you in the street. It says something about your character. Please, Brandon, just go with Uncle Kirk, all right? I want to talk to Mason privately, just for a few minutes. Oh, I knew you'd come. Thank you. You always do when I need you. Yeah, what's wrong, Gina? I'm just terribly frightened, that's all. I, there's this man that's, that's been following Brandon, and I don't know who he is or who hired him. You sure about that? Of course I am. You think I'm paranoid or something? I don't know if it's paranoia or conceit. I know what I'm talking about. I thought Santana hired him, but now I'm not so sure. Cruz said he would look into it, but... Well, good. That problem solved, then. I could have saved myself a trip. Wait a minute. That's not the only reason I called you. I've decided to file for divorce from CC. 
<laughs> That's a wise choice, Gina. Move on to greener pastures. And I want you to handle the case. Me? <laughs> Gina, there are two people on this planet I hate more than anyone else. One of them is my father, the other one is you. You don't mean that. From the bottom of my heart, Gina. There's no way in the world I would be your lawyer. If I found you on the street, penniless and freezing to death, I wouldn't lift a finger. Do I make myself clear?